All right, so some people have asked me how I'm getting my special numbers as high as I am. And I wanted to go out, kind of go over a bloodied gal shotgun slash minigun slash melee build, especially for the gauss weapons, um, so that if you're interested in how I'm getting them this high. Now, I've seen these strength and intelligence getting to 41, respectively, but that's on build team and someone in the team is mutated so we'll forget that for now that's kind of variable um, we're gonna look at first of all my mutations and as you see here I have these alright and my special stats currently are this okay so while we have this all open, I don't want to deal with freaking get all the perks back together. My gal shotguns running around two thousand something damage, and gal spinny guns running two thirty eight. But that can be up to three hundred something with the right perks. We're running these perks now, I want to get I want to show you how I'm getting this level of special stats. So I'm gonna unequip everything. And that's going to result in this. Oh, what? Hold on. All right. So this, when I'm in a team, I'll have these stats. Now, as you notice, I have herd mentality on, so if I'm not in a team, these stats are minus two each, so that's okay. Sp public teams are great, so we'll stick with public teams. So this is my more or less base stats with no other modifications. And we can fix this by first going in here, and luck, everyone knows this, class freak. And so we don't lose our uh, mutations, starts genes. So now I have a positive effect on all my special stats just for having turned on class freak. Okay. The next step is and this is all Secret Service armor, right? You want the under armor for Secret Service armor and the shielded lining. That'll give you four strength, two perception, four endurance. And then you can start adding on your other unyielding sets. So these don't really have anything special on them. Mostly random stuff that doesn't really matter. This one reduces ammo weight, but the, most of them don't really matter. So five. So as you know, unyielding gives you three special special points for every special except endurance. Um, up to three so if you're running 20% health or less you know in a bloody build you're getting three times five so we'll get 15 points here so we're at 18 strength now I'm bad at math but that's pretty close all right so that's how so far we've gotten our specials to pretty high you know I have one perception and yet I have 20 perception or one perception base 20 perception after things you know taken care of there so and that's without spe uh, special except for class freak now the next phase is looking at carry weight so without a backpack I'm running 336 carry weight and as you see, I carry three different backpacks. One for chemist, grocer, which is um, food and water, and high capacity, which is a generalized additional 120. Now, I believe the carry weight for regular level 50 back, uh, standard backpacks is something like 60 or so. But with high capacity, it's double that. 
but you reduce your damage resistance then. So let's look at, at let's so in this section we're gonna look at carry weight. So obviously the unyielding affects your amount of strength, and then this this un, uh, under armor adds four. But you could obviously add either either the any of these mods. And the ultimate, obviously, being high capacity, um, being hundred extra uh, extra hundred twenty, all right. But that's covering our covering our maximum. But you see how we're using three hundred and fifteen weight already. Well, one our we're 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 basically that's basically like sixty pounds of gauss ammunition right um and a bunch of fusion cores okay and we also have one two three plus shotguns and a heavy gun so we want to reduce weight correct so we're sitting at 315 weight right now well, let's reduce this. We'll start with the obvious, which is going to be batteries included, right? Batteries included, rank three, gives us 90% less um, energy ammo uh, uh, weight. Well, that brings us down to 235, which is great. Now, we want to reduce the weight of our heavy guns and shotguns. So, both. There are two perks in strength for this, which is going to be bear arms for heavy guns. So my Gauss minigun will weigh, instead of 19.8 pounds or so, it'll weigh about 2 pounds. And of course we could add scatter shot. I can find it. And that also reduces our weight more or less by 30% for shotguns. So now we're running 178. Well, that's cool, but there's more we can do with this. But because we're running a bloodied, max, more or less blo maximum bloodied build. Let me explain this. Um, bloodied, at 20%, you've hit maximum rank for bloodied, okay? You'll still kind of increase a little bit for your bloodied damage, but as far as getting your unyielding stuff to you know, three special, you've, you hit that at 20%. So more or less 20% from me is about 50 something, uh, HP. So once you're under that, <clears throat> once you're under that, let's see where we're at. We can also do other, some other things here. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, once you've hit 20%, you've hit the maximum more or less where you want to be for bloody. Okay, that's that's where I was going with this. Because um, your unyielding and your bloody weapons will all m more or less max out at 20%. You'll get a little bit more bloody damage. As you see here, I'm getting about 778 stock on... No shotgun perks. No shotgun damage perks, okay? The other thing with bloody builds is you can increase your strength. That's Yeah, that's where I was going. So we're, you see how we're sitting at 456 now? If you're running bloody, you obviously have a lot of rad, uh, rad, radiation. So go ahead and throw on the rank 1, which is only one rank, of Radicool. And now I've got a lot more strength. See how my strength's 39 or 38? Well now my carry weight's 481. Instead of 440, whatever it was. Cool. Alright. Now, if you're lucky enough to have people in your team that are mutated mutated as well, you could add Stranger in Numbers. And this is why you probably want to play with higher higher level people because they'll be mutated and that that'll 
that'll increase the positive benefits whereas having the um, class freak will reduce the negatives so that's where that's that's possible but you're not always lucky this is kind of variable right but right now again we're sitting at 846 for the gauss shotgun let's go ahead and look at building this up to a more powerful one shot one kill weapon actually no let's look at damage resistance this is this is more important to me really as a bloody build you see how right now i'm running at 404 damage resistance ballistic damage resistance well i haven't included a thing called nerd rage I can figure out a, my ABCs. Nerd, nerd, nerd. There we go. Well, now my damage resistance is 444. More importantly, my weapon damage is over 1,000. That's great. All right. But because the Gauss weapons are also explosive, your Demolition Expert now applies. So now my weapons hit 1,347. Well, that's great. Well, we haven't even applied shotgun uh, damage perks yet, so let's do that. We can now add, say... Uh, yeah, I keep going. I keep forgetting. So, depending on your problem that you're facing, you either want to use blocker or bar barbarian or both, but really, barbarian gives you up to 80 damage resistance and this gives you about 45 percent less damage by melee so if you're dealing with like range weapons go with um don't worry about barbarian uh, blocker but i usually run barbarian which brings me up to uh yeah 524 damage resistance freaking insane man um <clears throat> which in this case once the event yeah there we go uh i can put on say some shotgunner perks and bring my 1300 something damage to um let's see let's add on what do I got? This is why you want to have rank th one through three on all three of them, so you can more or less min, ma min max them. But um, there we go. <clears throat> now, adrenal reaction and all that good stuff. We're sitting at around eighteen hundred damage. E e I've seen it past two thousand when I've got the. Um, Change your numbers working with a team, but honest to God, you're hitting so much damage with bloody gal shotgun build right now that's just absolutely fucking insane. All right, agility obviously, all these other ones are not really relevant here, but I'll if I'm not running power armor, I'll obviously wear something like sneak or more importantly, evasive. We all know that uh, adrenaline's currently broken, so that's why An enforcer could could work. But problem is, you're one shot, one killing everything anyway, so you're wasting two points of agility there. So I would throw on agility and see how we got a f bit more luck here. I throw on say. Um, Serendipity, maybe Ricochet. If I was going all out bonkers. Yeah. See, I'm sitting, I'm sitting at 569 damage res resistance right now. And as we all know, Ricoch Serendipity lets us re reduce our damage. Um, percent to avoid damage. This is incredibly important for... Um, for your Gauss weapons, because 
yeah, you could do fireproof, which I recommend regardless. Because you'll one shot, one kill yourself at that. Um, also, make sure you put on, say, if you're really struggling with carry weight, you could do solar powered, which gives you additional strength and endurance. Or you could do other things like lead belly or whatever is bothering you. Um, I like to keep a little bit of endurance there. Hell, let's look at this style. Yeah, my carry weight's 491. My Gauss shotgun's 1885. I mean, that's just bonkers. Uh, serendipity again, you can avoid damage. So if I was to shoot the ground or shoot an enemy real close, I could potentially kill myself. Actually, it's so the, the problem with this build, if you don't have the dense mod on your chest, right? You could do the jetpack mod, which is great, I guess, if you really want a jetpack. But I mean, seriously, um, marsupial is more than enough, okay? You don't need jetpacks because dense is where it's at. With dense, you almost negate the need for fireproof. But attacking on fireproof and dense has saved my life so much that I will keep both on when I'm going in with gal shotguns gun blazing. So, again, um, chest. Yeah, running dense. And obviously, you want to make sure you get buttressed on all your, your stuff. That's highly important. But the dense mod plus fireproof really makes a difference in terms of the Gauss weapons, especially a close quarter battle. But let's see, I'm running almost 570 ballistic damage, 359, 252. That's great for everything but the, the nuke zones. If I nuke zone it, I'm usually doing Chinese stealth armor. You're not doing great with that, but at least you get a thousand energy resistance. Obviously, I have power armor. If you're a heavy guy, um, the great thing about strength is you can specialize in many different weapon types, right? You could, like, for example, my main build is shotgun, but you could do power armor by simply removing these and putting on say bullet shield expert full charge heavy gunner and lock a load not enough screw that Put that on we're gonna dump the um Dump this down to two, and we're going to put on stabilized, if I can afford it. Oh, if, if you're having problems carrying, like, multiple sets of power armor, obviously use power, uh, portable power, but whatever. It's another way to save power armor. Uh, yeah, you can throw on, say, power user, or, yeah, stabilized power user wherever I can find it. May have to remove one of these. <clears throat> it's all a balancing game. So what's this give you? This gives you I'd keep that obviously I'd keep that over say batteries included. Um, if I was in a real firefight. I then uh I want to say power user, but I'd put I guess you could if you really wanted to. I mean, again, I'm I'm not a real real heavy power user guy. Um or sorry, power armor guy. But this is all about balancing what matters to you. Obviously these these perks that don't benefit during power armor, you take off. And you bring back on, say, the higher tier of that, 
and maybe well you're not really going to be using action points anyway so go ahead and put on three acre three so you save weight on that uh, we have stabilized on yeah yeah okay you see how this serendipity doesn't have the uh, nope yeah this is no power armor does ricochet say the same thing Ricochet actually will work with uh, power armor. So you could go out there and say, I have three extra luck there. You could put on something else that makes sense, like Lucky Break or Tormentor or... Uh, you see I have multiple different... Like Ricochet, I have uh, a level one and a level three. I could use a level two as well. That way I can like really tune in my thing depending on what I need so you could theoretically go out there and put a look at the draw um, I think actually what I was looking for was what's in there yeah I, I forgot to put on one gun army you're you're wanting one gun army I just forgot my ABCs So if I was doing heavy guns, I'd be doing uh, one gun army as well. And this is obviously not the full build out. Um, I don't want to waste too much of your time. But you can do really well in a bloody unyielding build with Gauss weapons. And I want to make kind of... I want to thank Angry Turtle a little bit for... A little bit of advice there. I watch these videos a lot. I'm just putting random things on now. <clears throat> but yeah, this is kind of how I, I kind of min max myself. Again, right now I'm running the um, I'm running a, a shotgun build, but this is really insane. Especially if someone else on your team has mutated, then both strength and intelligence will hit around 41. Oh, be on the build team. And then beyond has someone that's on there that's that is mutated, and you'll most definitely have um, a very like forty one strength, forty one intelligence, which is great. And this is my you know my bloody gal spinning gun. It only has a tri barrel. That's the only real thing that matters. And it, yeah, it shoots three ammunition just freaking fast. In fact, let me drink some water or something. I've recorded this video like three or four times now, so I'm not recording it again. There you go. This thing's pretty good. This is this is a great weapon for Scorch Beasts when they land and for um, when you're power armoring it. But I mainly run Gal Shotgun. And it's all bloody. It's great. If I'm running nuke zones, I usually will run half to three quarter health because I don't need to be one shot, one killing everything. I'm more. It's more important to be safer with rads. But uh, and of course, if I'm running nuke zones, I'm farming, so I want green thumb. I mean, it's just a little standard, basic knowledge. But I mean, that's that's about it. So have fun.